been thinking a lot about time lately, not in the cool physics coming up with new theories about how it's just this weird wobbly mass that we can manipulate kind of way, but time as in my time of life given that I am starting my final year. So random thought number one. You can say you're too busy, but unless you're some kind of combination between Sheryl Sandberg, Mark Zuckerberg, Beyonce and Oprah, it's unlikely that you really are too busy. As in if you really want to do something, you'll make the time for it. I'm really aware now that this is my final year of being a student and I'm actually really happy with my life now of like studying and the friends that I get to live with and spend time with and now it's not gonna last ever and it's also quite scary to think in the general time as people go on in their lives your friends become less of a priority as people start settling down and having families your like your spouse and your children become number one and then you generally don't have as much time for those people the people that you'd see every day and like move away and it becomes maybe catch up by email or an occasional phone call and it's I'm kind of sad about it but at the same time change happens and my mum was always really impressing me like whatever stage you're of life you're in you should enjoy it because there are pros and cons of them all so I guess I'm just trying to be really appreciative of the time that I get to really like be properly living with my friends now. Being in my final year is kind of liberating in a sense that sometimes I'll be in a room like a seminar room or just a general thing at uni and I'll look around and think chances are I won't see any of these people after this year is up so I worry less about what people think about me. I've definitely learnt at uni that all the boring domestic chores like tidying your room and hoovering or even going to buy a new light bulb take up a lot longer <laughs> than you think they would and that's annoying because I would rather spend that time watching TV. The prospect of working a 9 to 5 kind of intimidates me because the times I have worked 9 to 5 in the past when I've come home in the evening I've been quite tired and when I was younger I never used to understand how my mum could come home from work and be tired. I was thinking hey I go to school 9 to 3 30 it's only an extra hour and a half but obviously I've learned that it's different now and the main thing is obviously when you do have a full-time job most of your waking hours during the week they are spent at work and I really want to have my own time to do my own creative projects obviously that requires putting actual energy into it and setting aside time and I would say the biggest thing I'm maybe disappointed is too strong a word but the thing I'd like to change most now is I'm not really spending time writing I've barely been on YouTube as I'm sure you all know and if I can't carve the time out to do that while I'm a student and obviously I do have to work a lot but it's not in coal mines or doing 10 meetings in one day then how am I supposed to, how do I expect myself to find it when I do have a full-time job? I, like a lot of people, am obviously scared about the prospect of graduating and one of the ways I'm dealing with that is thinking well that period of immediate post-graduation anxiety and applying for jobs won't last forever time will still pass, a year will pass, a decade will pass it will, at some point, it will just be another chapter in my life. I think for the first proper time in my life, I am pretty happy with who I am as a person, so it is weird to think that over time I will change, and I'll look back at this version of me and think, oh, she was great, but the me now does this differently, or it's like, different is better at doing this or that. So it's nice but also I've spent a lot of my life looking forward to say if I were more like this slash when I was more like this and things would be better but I'm pretty happy with exactly who I am right now and actually trying to stay in the present. 
and that is my groundbreaking thesis on the concept of time travel and how we can use it in the future and past. As always I hope all of you guys are well and hopefully I'll be spending some more time with you soon. Bye.